Hi you guys, before we get into this video, I want to show you guys something that I genuinely think is a perfect gift for Christmas this year. I don't know if you guys love bath bombs as much as I do, but I love taking a bath. Anything luxury, anything bougie, I'm obsessed with. And Cassette was so nice and sent me another package. But not only that, you guys, they hooked us up with a coupon code, okay? You can use code EKYLE at checkout or click the link in the description if you guys are interested and you can get 15% off your bath bombs okay let me open this up though I gotta show you guys you guys just at least gotta try it once therapeutic goodies inside welcome to the cassette family you guys know I'm stressed all the time and these are great for that they're handmade in Salt Lake City Utah love to represent that because I'm from Utah so it's a vibe look at these bath bombs if you're gonna get one get the rosy one I love this smell I don't even know how to explain it it's called rosy okay you're gonna want to check this one out and my second favorite is Fiona this is literally called Fiona. I'm obsessed with it because I love Shrek. If you guys know me, Shrek 2, I'm obsessed with. And this just makes me want to put Shrek on in the tub and freaking lay in this bath bomb. When I found out that they were going to give me a code, I was so excited. I'm going to be promoting them a lot just out of the kindness of my heart because I am so like honored that they would give me even a discount code for you guys to use. This is such a good opportunity. Definitely use it. E Kyle at checkout. But not only only that they have more than just bath bombs they have so many things I didn't even know like look they literally have body butter they've got anti-inflammatory toning essential oils did not even know that activated charcoal cleanser taking a bath in this bath is the most magical thing especially because this literally just amplifies everything they have little therapy marble balls they're just little ones. they also have bath magic which is basically like a bubble bath I'm genuinely so excited that they gave us a 15% off code so you you guys can use it at checkout. If you click the link that I have in my description box to go and shop, it automatically applies the discount, which is super convenient. But if not, just remember E Kyle at checkout. Love you guys and let's get into the vlog. Okay, good morning everybody. Hope you guys had a good sleep. I'm in my car right now and I thought of something really fun to do on my YouTube channel. I want to do this thing called tuna talks <laughs> where basically I just eat packets of tuna and talk with you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm kind of kidding, but I'm not. I'm actually joking, but I'm not joking at the same time. Okay, this is so weird. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this because it's just like a personal thing and I don't really know why I'm putting this out on the internet, but for lunch, um, as a lot of you guys know, even though I literally had a cookie last night, like, you gotta have cheat days though, you know? I've been trying to stick to, like, high-protein foods. This is so boring, no one cares, but I'm documenting my life, and this is what I'm doing in my life right now. I'm trying to stick to high-protein foods, and tuna fish has really high protein. And they've got these packets at the store where, like, this is only 90 calories, and it's got... 16 grams of protein. So if I eat two of these for lunch, this one's only 70 calories. Literally, it's so good for you. And it's so low in calorie and so high in protein. So protein keeps you full in case people don't know that. I have to go to work in a little bit. I need to leave in like 10 minutes actually. Um, I'll do the buffalo. But I have hot buffalo and spice, sweet and spicy tuna. I cannot believe I'm doing this right now with you guys. Like this is so actually like, this is how you know I've hit rock bottom. Oh, I brought a fork from my house too. I am literally gonna eat tuna from this bag I don't care this is yummy stuff like genuinely just rip it and then you literally just eat it from the bag and it tastes like buffalo sauce it's really yummy mm. oh my gosh it's so good fuck there's a fucking wasp on me fuck fuck Y'all saw that, right? Holy mother, I almost just died. There was a wasp on my jacket. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was so scary. Okay, anyway, now that a wasp literally tried to kill me, what? Also, it's the middle of winter. Why is there a wasp on me? It's literally snow. There's literally snow outside and a wasp is on me. I'm all sorts of confused. That was terrifying. I just saw this thing moving on me. I looked down. I see this wasp staring at me. I almost just died. That was terrifying. Sorry, I kept swearing. Actually, I'm not sorry. 
That was scary as shit. I have lots of errands to do today. Well, not a lot. I'm so annoying. I have to go to work. I'm supposed to stop and get, um, I just stop and do boring Wi-Fi stuff. No one cares. My life is so boring. Do you guys understand this? It's not entertaining at all. And like, I'm, I'm very aware of it. I'm literally so confused how there was a wasp on me. I hope you can see it on the camera. Like, when did it fly on me? Like, how did I not notice that? Where where was it? That was scary, though. Because those things sting, and it hurts. The next one is sweet and spicy. This one's my favorite. That's why I saved it for last. It's so good. This one's so good. If I can get it. Mm. Tuna talks with Kyle. Is this one even tuna? Oh, it is. There's our chicken. Um, but yeah, okay, cat's out of the bag. This is usually what I have for lunch. I know it's weird, but it keeps me full and it's really yummy. Like, I genuinely love tuna fish. And honestly, this would be a great snack if I ever wanted one. If you guys ever need a snack, just go and get a packet of tuna and eat it. That wasp was terrifying. Like, I'm actually still shaking. You know when you get, like, when there's a bug on you and then the rest of, like, like for a few hours every little feeling you feel like there's a bug on you my brain keeps telling me right now in my head it's like that wasn't the only wasp there's more on you like that's what i keep thinking because i'm like why is one wasp all by himself he's probably had friends and it's got to be around here somewhere oh my gosh this is the best tuna so good mm, they have other flavors ranch tuna jalapeno zesty lemon pepper lemon dill and mango chipotle oh i gotta find these i can get them at starkist.com i swear i just saw another wasp what the hell where did that go i think it was just a stupid leaf it scared the crap out of me Ugh. Anyways, that was Tuna Talks. There's no way this is becoming a thing on my channel. But honestly, wait, I'm like, that's actually kind of a good idea. Like, if I had tea to talk about, call it Tuna Talks, eat tuna and talk about it, I think it's smart. Tuna Talk! All right, it's a little bit later in the day. Literally, guys, I am so confused. This is the problem with YouTube for me, and this is why I never know where to go, and then I randomly stop being consistent. It's like I'm super consistent for a long time, and then I pull back and I stop. And I need to stop doing that, and I'm very aware. It's like, okay, here's the thing. If you're looking at it as a whole, I'm pretty consistent on YouTube. Like the fact that I'm still posting on this channel and I've had this channel since I was like 15 years old is crazy to me. Like it's almost been 10 years on this YouTube channel. But the thing I'm so confused about is like, I've always done YouTube first. That was always my first priority. Then TikTok started blowing up. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna focus on that for now. So I focused on TikTok. Kind of regret it, not gonna lie. So now I'm back and I'm like, I wanna do YouTube. But literally I feel like the algorithm them has completely changed. I've been looking into it and everyone's saying that if you daily vlog, if you vlog your life, unless you're a really well-known YouTuber, YouTube's not even gonna push your video, okay? So I'm like, then what am I supposed to do? Because I had this like coming to Jesus moment where I was like, I'm just meant to vlog my daily life. That's my passion. That's what I want to do. And now YouTube's like, well, we don't want people doing that anymore. I'm like, so what am I supposed to do? Literally, I'm so confused. Like, I'm obviously not going to stop. I'm gonna keep going. I just don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do. Everyone's like, find your niche, your niche, whatever the word is. Your niche, your niche. I don't even know what the word is. Find it. Like, if you like posting about football, post football videos. And I'm like, okay, well, this is the thing. I like lifestyle content, but like, I'm all over the place. I like to be funny. I like to film my cats. I like to film my relationship. I like to film food. I like food. Like, who doesn't like food? You know what I mean? Like, food's so good. Um, I like house renovation stuff. I like to film my house. And I I like to film like rant videos. I love to rant about things that make me annoyed. I like doing taste test videos. Like there's so many different things that I like and they're like pick two or three and stick with it. I'm like, that's boring. I don't want to do that. Am I just supposed to keep doing what I'm doing even though I'm literally not like breaking through with my videos, which in a sense I don't really care. But then on the other hand, it's like, that's what YouTube's about is getting an audience and having people watch. And so if it's going to hurt my audience and hurt my views, 
why would I keep doing it? But then at the same time, it's like, I don't wanna post stuff. This thing, I've posted things in my career online. I've posted content that the viewers like versus what I like, right? And it's miserable. Yeah, you're getting hundreds of thousands, millions of views, but you literally hate it. You're like, I don't care about this video. It's not cool to me, but everyone else loves it. And it's miserable. So I'm like, do I post content that I love and get no views at all, and at least I'm happy, or do I post content that everyone wants to see, but I'm miserable making it? Does that make sense? It's literally such a mind game. YouTube is a mind game. It messes with your brain, and it just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. Nobody cares, and that's the one thing that everyone was saying in these videos I was watching. They're like, the reason why vlogs don't do good is because no one cares about your life. And I'm like, it's so true. No one cares about my life. No one cares what I'm eating. No one cares what my house looks like. Like, I get it. I'm irrelevant, and nobody gives a crap. I understand. But then the last thing I want to say is I'm just so confused on how I have millions of followers on TikTok, right? And I can't even get 4% of them to come to YouTube and watch my content. Like, no one cares. If I even mention it on TikTok, no one comes over here and watches my video. Just being real with y'all, TikTok, I'm just so over it. Think about everyone that's good and big on TikTok, almost 90% of them, it's just like brain dead content, which is funny, it's entertaining, I get it. But when you're doing that every day, you literally become numb and you're like, this is just so, there's no like fulfillment. Like I don't feel fulfilled making a TikTok video because I'm like, this is just stupid. Whereas like, at least on YouTube, I'm like, editing, putting my heart and soul into it, like filming how I'm feeling, like there's more of a connection, but no one cares about it. I just feel like we're in this society now where people just want quick, funny, and fast content and no one gives a crap about anything else and it's just so sad i'm like why can't we go back to the old days when people were just excited to watch like everything and now it's like you either have to post informational stuff things that are informational or you just have to be funny loud and quick and i'm like oh i've done the funny loud and quick for like eight years of my life i'm over it <laughs> but i just had to put that out there anyways that's the end of this video love you guys i'll see you in my next one i'm posting as often as i can so i hope you guys are enjoying it at least somebody out there i know that youtube is literally hiding my videos like no one can find them or see them but i'm still having fun and i'm just gonna keep going because maybe fingers crossed youtube will change the algorithm and start pushing daily life vlogs again but i don't know we'll see anyways i'll See you guys tomorrow. Bye.